The menu. The Foley family restaurant was a staple of the local town. It had been there for so long, some believed the town had actually been built around it. What is certain is that no current living citizen had been alive when the Foley restaurant was first founded in 1850. The restaurant proudly served traditional local favourites and had done so since the very first day. The menu had been the same since that day. It was now the year 2000, and it was currently run by Bob Foley, who liked to boast that we've not changed our menu for 150 years, and we've only ever had four options on our menu since 1850. Lamb chops, chicken fillets, pork sausages, smoked salmon. All served with a locally produced side dish, including fried eggs, baked beans and steamed veggies. Every time Bob said this, and it happened several times a day, he pointed to a small yellowing leaflet which hung on the wall in an old wooden frame. On it was written, The Foley Menu, 1850, and nothing else. First-time diners at Foley's always looked impressed by this, or at least pretended to. On the other hand, regulars rolled their eyes or, if tipsy enough, mocked him in friendly, sarcastic tones. Really? Is that true? Why, you should have mentioned it before. I never noticed that menu on the wall. Can't believe you kept so quiet about it. He automatically told them to shut it. Bob Foley and his wife Sarah had created a jovial atmosphere and it was easy to feel at home there. Perhaps also because it was their home, as they lived upstairs, in the flat above the restaurant. They had an 18-year-old son, Luke, who worked as waiter, assistant chef, dish cleaner, transporter and bin boy. He was hard-working and the plan was that one day he would take over the business once his parents were too old to run it. That was how it had always worked and would always work. His father reminded him of that every day. That's how it's always worked and will always work. Luke wasn't afraid of pitching new ideas on how to run things, however. One day he pitched a new idea for the menu, but his father wouldn't hear of it. Dad, we need a vegetarian option. Ridiculous! The menu hasn't changed in 150 years and that's why people come here! Don't have to change it, just add one vegetarian option. There are so many vegetarians now, Dad. Rubbish. There's a few here and there, maybe, but the vast majority- I'm a vegetarian! No, you're not. Yes, I am. Oh, well, you can be anything you like, but we're not changing the menu just because you've changed. Not while I'm in charge of the restaurant. They bickered for a while longer until they got tired and eventually went to bed. Neither, however, paid attention to Sarah, their respective wife and mother, as she rolled her eyes, sighed, and turned the lights off. She would witness this bickering hundreds of times again. Thirty years on, and not too much had changed at Foley's restaurant, except that Luke was now 30 years older and running the restaurant with his wife, Almira. Just like his father used to do before him, he was running around the place as usual, welcoming guests, good evening, welcome to Foley's, taking orders, what can I get you today, the veggie option is great, and pointing newcomers to the menu on the wall. Hasn't changed in 180 years. In fact, there was now a fifth vegetarian option, although Luke never mentioned anything about the addition. It was as if he'd completely forgotten he'd modified the menu. He and his wife had an 18-year-old daughter, Frida, who did very much the same job Luke used to do all those years ago. She shared her father's fiery spirit, and one evening, after the restaurant had closed, they sat down for dinner. Bob and Sarah, Frida's grandparents and now in their 70s, joined them as they did most evenings. 
After a bit, Frida said to her father, Dad, I think we should add a vegan option to the menu. Not this again. But Dad, there are loads of vegans nowadays, and I think we should open the menu up to them. No, we don't change the Foley menu. It's what brings people here. It's tradition. We don't have to change it, just add a vegan option. No, the menu is what keeps this restaurant alive. He barked, pointing at the menu on the wall with his mouth full. If you don't open your mind a bit, we'll lose customers fast. Rubbish. The reason people come here is because we've always had the same menu. Have you ever even seen the menu? Barked Frida. Of course I've seen the menu. What on earth are you talking about? I mean that menu on the wall. And just as she said that, Sarah got up from her chair slowly and walked slowly to the menu hanging on the wall. She lifted it off the wall, which made both her husband and her son shout, What on earth are you doing? Calmly, she replied, The obvious thing, then took a spoon from a nearby table and smashed the glass cover, which made Bob and Luke shout out, What on earth are you doing? Have you gone mad? Frida and her mum were just as shocked, but said nothing. Sarah then took the sacred yellowing menu into her hands, walked slowly back to the table and placed it in front of Bob and Luke Foley. Open it, she suggested. They began to protest. Put, put it back immediately. The menu stays where it is on the wall. And they made as if to get up and put it back where it belonged. But Sarah repeated calmly, open it. Rather taken aback, Bob and Luke Foley opened the fragile menu carefully and gazed inside. At first, the page looked empty, but then they noticed just one small item printed at the top of the page. Lamb chops. <laughs>